probably haven't seen me in Wild Side lately. It's because I've been locked up like a caged animal. I can't take it no more. All the whistles tell my line up, line up. It's getting on my nerves, man. And there's probably some punk out there messing with all my hoes. See, they need this, and I can't give it to them, man. It's just, it's unbearable, man. It's just unbearable. So everybody at Wild Side, you better watch out, because the real Slim J's about to bust out. Buster. Azrael and Gabriel have defended the Wild Side Tag Team titles against teams from all over the country. As soon as they won those titles, teams were lined up out the door and around the corner from all over the country. Promotions far and wide from the north to the south to the east to the west. One shot to those Wild Side Tag Team titles. The Lost Boys have been more than happy to defend it because they have proven time and time again they are the best tag team in professional wrestling today. They are the children of the night. And TNT can come out here and call them out each and every week. But it's awful convenient that TNT can attack Jimmy Wraith while he's in the middle of a match. Or can attack g Rated after they've already defeated him. And they can call out the Lost Boys, yet they have yet to be involved in attacking the Lost Boys. They are afraid to get in the ring with Azrael and Gabriel. Or perhaps it's some sort of psychological thing. Well, what the Overboy is doing here, maybe this is some weird sort of psychological thing. Well, it certainly is weird. Turning their backs on the Wild Side Tag Team Champions. Sounds like a bad career move. Azrael and Gabriel looking heavenward for their inspiration, their muse. The Overboy's going to work early. Double eye re whip reversal. Underneath go the Overboys. What the hell was that? Uh, Dick, I give it a 45, but I couldn't dance to that. Double forearm shots by the Lost Boys. Into the far corner goes Joey Corman. Samir follows. And Mike Page, what is this big goofy lord ass doing? Uh, not very much. And Aswell climbs on Mike Page. Kick to the back of the head. Whatever, I'm not commenting on that. Say whatever tag team strategy the Overboys had coming in, they should try another one. Just a thought. Mike Page out here with his putter, and he also brought a golf club with him. Wonder what his handicap is, other than the, the obvious mental one. Corman in the ring now. Double boot to the midsection by the Lost Boys. Fallen Arcadia by the Tag Team Champions. And there's the Time Warp, another one of the signature maneuvers. Wrestling ability that he does possess, and quite a bit. From their travels up to Combat Zone Wrestling, as well as the Southwest United States. Matter of fact, we've seen the Overboys here at NCW. At oh, good heavens! A slap across the chest of Gabriel. By the tub of goo, Mike Page. Just say no to crack. Pull up pants up. Tub of goo could not be a more apt description for Mike Page. Too many guys named Page in this business. Sorry. Snap Bear takeover by Samir. Tag into Joey Corman. The Overboys doing a number on Gabriel. One half of the Wild Side Tag Team Champs. What? Frequent tags. I would say shades of the Andersons, but I think only Anderson will recoil in horror seeing the Overboys in action. The Marquis says wrestling. They wanted to see Kathy Rick be there. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I've got enough. An, an Ole Anderson moment. You'll have to forgive me. Terrific. Maybe you should take some laxatives for that. I'll do just that. Joey Corman working over Gabriel in the ring. An Ole Anderson moment. God help us. It's come to this. It's better than having a Rufus off Ray Train Jones moment. Yes, it is, sir. Sunset flip by Gabriel. Two count only. Close line by Joey Corman. And the Overboy's getting down to business now, finally. After a lot of chicanery and goofing off early on in the match. But maybe that was their ploy all along. Lull the Lost Boys into a false sense of security and pounce like cats on mice. And it's doubling and triple teaming on Gabriel while senior official Andrew Thomas has an argument with Azrael. Things are not looking too promising for the Wild Side Tag Team champs. Gabriel sends Samir off the top rope. Twisting corkscrew splash 
by Gabriel, but nobody home. And they did him far more harm than good, obviously, with nobody in the pool. And Samir thinks he's got the number of Gabriel. Of course, it was Gabriel taking that the high-risk maneuver chance, and when you take a high-risk maneuver, it's high-risk on yourself as well. Nagasateru into a sit-out face buster. A face full of canvas and a leg across the throat of Gabriel, and Gabriel needs to make a tag to Azrael in the worst way. I can't believe how the Overboys are treating this so lightly. Haven't they learned within the first five or six minutes of this match that the Lost Boys are a very powerful and dangerous tag team? Big boot to the side of the head by Samir. I, I just don't understand how all these teams from across the country almost mock the Lost Boys. They come in here week after week, and that? they take them very lightly. Teams from all over the country. What the hell? That's okay. It's the deal, and it always bites them in the ass. That's okay. I hope everybody comes in here and treats the Lost Boys lightly. That ensures the Lost Boys will be raw side tag team champs for some time to come. Double clothesline. Both men go down. Gabriel fighting hard to get in the corner. A tag is made to Azrael, and Samir tags in as well. And fists are flying from the Angel of Death. A very fresh Angel of Death swooping upon his prey. What a kick. Sending Joey Corman to the outside. Samir going to Gabriel. What on earth? Azrael sends Gabriel with a moonsault to the outside. Samir onto Azrael in the ring. Dug of a clothesline. Dug of an elbow. Boot to the midsection. And the Lost Boys have... They've got Samir up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm speechless. I don't know what to call that. They just dropped Samir square on his gourd. The winners of the match. And still, wild side tag team champions, the Lost Boys. <laughs> Two for punching. <laughs> so cool. And hey, what's the deal with Sal? Is he coming back? I don't know, man. He, he took a pretty hard hit last TV. Man, I, I've never seen him that bad off before. He was talking. Hey, guys. Ecstasy? Cool? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, stupid? We're going to wrestle. Man, I had the weirdest dream last night. You were there? Pity, you were there? And I don't know your name, but you were there. And I don't know you. Oh, man. Check this out. I had a mat. They wanted me to wear this mask. And they wanted me to draw stuff on my face. And some fat guy kept on calling me Del Rio. I, I just wanted to go home. I'm so glad that dream's over. So, kid, ecstasy. So, ecstasy, you're back. You're finally back. Back? Of course I'm ecstasy. Who do you think I am, Ray Mysterio Jr.? Of course not. And the G still stands for good looking. <laughs>